Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is a morning market prep video for Wednesday, August 31st, 2022, the last trading day of the month. And then we slip over into September. Well, yesterday brought out some bears. Um, I was expecting a little bit of a bounce in the market from a short term oversold condition. But then that job openings report came out and it was much harder than expected. And that brought those bears back to work. And this time it created some technical damage. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Marker Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. Let's take a peek at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. Well, as you guys know, I have been marking this over and over and over, and um, I will continue to do so. If we look at our downtrend here in the chart, we um, certainly had broken that downtrend, but doggone it, we slipped right back down below that downtrend break, uh, giving it up. And unfortunately, we continue to give up substantial um, support levels in the chart here in the Dow. And as you can see, as of yesterday's close, we're down here testing some support down in here. Clearly, we've broken this little upside trend and we have begun a downtrend where we have uh, failed lower high, and lower low. And unfortunately, um, we have um, some technical damage besides the pattern here itself. Pretty damaging pattern, as you can see, this has turned out to be um, essentially a head and shoulders top. And the neckline of that break has occurred and um, we have kind of got this extension going on to the downtrend here in the chart. Remember I had mentioned that we also had this island reversal in here where we left a window behind on all of the indexes and that has certainly played out to be a pretty bearish um, situation here for us in the market. Now if we can hold on to some price support maybe right through this area we may be okay for a little bit of relief rally in the market, but unfortunately we're getting some data out that just continues to pile on to the bearish sentiment here in the market. We will want to take a look at the technical damage here in the chart that has been created, noticing that we closed well below our 50 day moving average in the chart. And we're starting to see those shorter term averages are turning lower, as you can see, putting in some uh, additional pressures up here. Um, if we were to r rally in this market, what that would really mean is um, in any rally back up, we're going to want to watch these areas of resistance above now because we have those moving averages resistance areas. We've got the price resistance le uh, levels in the chart. So if we can get a relief rally, watch for an area right in here where those bears could re-engage and just continue that bit of a downtrend. We have very much the same situation here on the SPY, SPY. We've got that island reversal that certainly played out bearishly. We've got basically the head and shoulders pattern going on in here. We've pushed down to uh, test some price support levels in the chart and um, hopefully we can hold there for just a little bit. We want to be watching these resistance levels in the chart right through here as we rally back um, to see whether or not we can push back up through or if that's just going to be the next uh, potential lower high in the chart. That's assuming we can get going and we stop the pile on of some of this uh, bad data that we're seeing from around the world. And once again, um, failing our 50 day moving average here, but not nearly as much in the Dow. So that possibility that we could pop right back above that um, certainly does um, look like um, a high probability, so watch that close. If we take a look at our QQQ, now our QQQ 
been struggling quite a bit. One of the reasons we're continuing to struggle here in the NASDAQ is those bond yields continue to put more and more pressure on tech companies. And uh, once again, we have that head and shoulders top. We have that island reversal up here, creating that problem. Um, we broke the neckline of that. And of course, here we are down testing some support levels in the chart and probably our last real major support um, in this uh, chart uh, from the current, uh, from that recent uptrend. So watch that closely. If we break down below this level, that could be pretty problematic for the market. And if we take a look over here, our QQQ uh, substantially failed its 50 day moving average. Those shorter term moving averages coming down just like the others. So once again, we're gonna be watching resistance levels in the chart right up in here to see whether or not that next rally back up doesn't just create that next um, lower high in the market that pushes us on down. And then if we take a look at our Russell, now Russell's in a bit of a better situation here. Um, kind of interesting that the Russell has been holding up stronger than other indexes, but yesterday it kind of, uh, well, it kind of slipped pretty hard. And the reason I, I say a little bit stronger, notice right in here, we're still holding above that downtrend break. So if we can catch some support, right in here and bounce, then I would be watching um, up in this area for that next resistance area. And we'd be watching that for that continuation of the downtrend. So watch that carefully. And you'll notice here in our moving averages, we've held above our 50 day moving average so far on the Russell. So fingers crossed the Russell is the most bullish of the indexes and perhaps um, it can give us some clues to a, um, a maybe uh, the bulls are stronger than they're showing themselves to be right now. So watch that close. Let's take a look at our VIX. Now our VIX um, seesawed around quite a bit yesterday. Um, at the end of the day, we had a little rally that came into the market and um, right at the end of the day, and you can see that pulled that VIX back, but still holding up here above 25 handles. Clearly we broke that resistance level here in the chart and we're running a pretty steep upside trend. So what we do kind of need is we do kind of need that relief rally to occur in the market. We need to see this pull back and rest and move on up. Let's keep our fingers crossed that the data doesn't just continue to pile on, encouraging those bears to push even further. We'll want to watch that closely here um, if we can rest or pull back in the VIX. And then if we take a look at our T2122, I think T2122 gives us our best hope that we should see some kind of a relief rally. We're down here, you know, scraping the bottom of the barrel. Um, and, and unfortunately, that's one of the things that occur when we linger too long, when we get over exuberant on the upside, then we um, tend to punish that move very swiftly and very hard. And um, I want to remind everyone that we do have that potential that we could linger down here. We've seen that before where we've kind of lingered in this um, bearish area of the market. And if data continues to pile on, we certainly can't rule that out. However, I do favor the idea that we will likely catch some kind of a relief rally and a bounce. And we'll watch um, um, watch this pick up over here in the chart. But we will want to be careful and not assume that we're just going to zoom back to the top. Because remember, starting next month, September 1st, we're going to do 90 billion roll off of the balance sheet. And we've got a Fed meeting coming up where they're likely to continue to raise rates as the Fed members just continue to repeat over and over. We're not done raising rates. So keep an eye on that. Now, if we take a look at, um, oh, we better go back over there for just a second. What was I thinking? If we take a look at our T2107, now T2107 pulled back in here, but we were kind of fingers crossed holding on to some good news here. And this is where that um, Russell comes into play. We have just enough of those trying to hold above their 200 day moving average. Notice we're trying to 
to hold on to that downtrend right now. And we've got a little bit of price support in here that could give us some help. So if we do catch that relief rally, um, we could see um, a hold in this area and that might be encouraging for just a little bit. So watch that closely. Remember, this is the, the percentage of stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. And although we do have that little bit of encouragement of some technical support in here, you know, 27 and a half percent of the stocks holding above their 200 day moving average. It's pretty hard to build a really big bullish enthusiasm case um, on that kind of number. And then if we take a look at our T2108, T2108 also pulling back. And unfortunately, um, we were so extended in this chart and I was warning of that. Um, we have broken back down through that um, upside trend break pretty sharply. 41%, uh, 41 41.5% of the stocks holding above their 40 day moving average. And you can see we've got an area right in here. There should be some price support in this area. So that kind of gives us that little hope that we may catch that relief rally as long as data doesn't continue to pile on on the negative side maybe we can rally back up into here and see if we can test that downtrend once again um, as resistance so watch that carefully and, and also keeping in mind a lot of con congestion through that area so if we can't pop through there um, that might be a problem for us um, let's take a look at our t2101 now t2101 volume um, came up just a little bit yesterday but Honestly, yesterday was just such an interesting seesaw day where um, there didn't seem to be a whole lot of fear in the selling. There just there seemed to be um, just an unwillingness for the bulls to do much of anything. Um, so I'm not sure we're getting the best of data here, but I will kind of lean into the idea that we might get a little bit of a relief rally reversal in this chart. You can see we perked up here just a little bit and we might get that little bit of relief rally here. Uh, we'll have to watch that pretty closely. Now, if we, if we take a look at our index charts, you'll notice that our volumes still remain relatively weak. So we may not be getting the best of data out of that. That, um, indicator. Let's take a look at our economic calendar here for today. Now our economic calendar, well, we're going to trip into some more data and who knows um, whether or not it's going to be bullish or bearish. We're going to get those mortgage applications. They have been coming in um, uh, terribly bearish and um, the market overall has tried to ignore that. But um, we've had some reports here recently that we're going into a, um, a mortgage recession. And um, some of those numbers have certainly been um, hinting that that could be a possibility. We're going to get some more Fed speak here today. We've got Mester here speaking this morning. We're going to have an ADP. ADP is finally back after a little bit of layoff and a reforming on how they calculate the data. Um, ADP will be back with a report today and they are expecting um, a private um, payroll increases of over 225,000 uh, folks um, out there getting jobs again that could lean into that situation that our jobs are continuing to stay hot and um, that really gives all the encouragement to the FOMC to continue to lean on the gas um, in fighting inflation. So watch that closely. We're going to have the Chicago PMI. Um, and then a little bit later this morning, we're going to get that petroleum status. And that could be interesting here because we've seen some of those numbers coming in. We've, we're trending a little bit negative in those numbers. Our supplies um, haven't been keeping up with demand and that could um, help um, those energy prices stay up a little bit. Um, but we will want to watch that closely because if they come in at a, at a decline um, or, or an increase, we have a, a glut of supplies, then that could lower things down. And then keep in mind, we're going to have a couple Fed speakers later on this afternoon um, to be paying attention to. Remember, as you plan forward, we're going to have the job openings report, productivity and cost, PMI, ISM, construction spending, natural gas tomorrow. So we've got a full plate uh, tomorrow that we 
will be uh, dealing with along with that challenger uh, job cut report that may start creeping up here um, if you saw some of the news that, that snap is laying off 20 percent of its staff so keep a close eye on that it's got a lot of a lot of data coming our way the rest of this week and then if we take a look at our earnings calendar our earnings calendar you know we we're kind of down we're winding down earnings season but we still have some notables out there and today we have um a, well a, a moderately busy uh calendar here um to be paying attention to um, um, BF dot B Brown Foreman will be reporting today let's keep a close eye on that um, you'll want to be watching uh, that report we're going to hear from five below um, we've been seeing a lot of these discount retailers struggling here quite a bit um, so it might be an interesting report here this morning from five below watch that um, um, MDB, MDB will be reporting today. Um, OKTA will be reporting today. We're going to hear from VEEV as well. So watch some of these reports. Um, again, as you as you can tell from the names that I'm listing here, they're not exactly uh, market moving earnings reports. So we can't probably expect a whole lot of price manipulation of the market by these earnings reports so what i mean is they're not going to be a market changing event in all likelihood now if you want to catch the full list of notables make sure you click the link just below the title of the video that'll take you back to the morning blog and i apologize here lately guys that i've been having a little bit of trouble with the blog but i got that repaired today and uh, we're up and running so go on back and and check that blog let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up but before we do that guys if you can do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and then also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that quick favor let's click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment that helps the channel to continue to grow and i just want to say thank you so much to everyone who does do that i also want to say thank you to everyone who attended the e-learning last night i know it wasn't really one of those sexy e-learnings it was about some of the truths and some of the things that i have learned over my uh, plus 30 years of trading and um, thanks to everyone who showed up i hope you got some good information out of that i'm going to keep doing some of those um, um, public e-learnings and we're going to kind of go into a, a lot more um, detail into price action things in the coming ones so watch carefully for those as they get announced let's take a look at um, some stocks that could be setting up here guys and remember these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security you need to do your own due diligence be very very careful here in these charts we've got a lot of things just a little bit odd out here and one of those things i continue to mention is the strength of the u.s dollar and we continue to see that u.s dollar trying to push higher and push higher higher and push it higher so that creates that uncertainty out there um, around the world um, with the strength of that dollar and um, we'll want to watch that pretty closely um, notice we've got a nice little platform that we're building here and that possibility that we could pop on through to the upside so watch that close now you, as a typical thing that's going to negatively affect commodity prices if dollar gets stronger commodity prices are normally affected negatively by that so watch that closely we have seen a recent recently that even though the dollar has been pushing back up commodities have been going up as well so kind of an odd situation here in the market but watch that close and remember this continues to pressure world economies all over the place so i know we kind of like to put our head in the sand and say you know all i have to worry about is this chart ahead of me but when we start slipping into a global recession we really need to be paying attention to some of those other world economies and what's going on there as well let's take a look at some of these stocks and um 
um, places that I think uh, have been really strong for the bulls has been in the uranium area. Take a look at URA. URA looks like we're going to get a pullback in this today, and we need one. We've shot up pretty sharply here in that chart, and we're reacting negatively to some resistance right here. But watch for that next opportunity. If this can rest or hold a higher low in here on some of these support levels, then we'd look for that next opportunity to the upside. We've seen uh, kind of a big resurgence in some of these alternative energies and um, uh, we're seeing Japan and other countries um, really picking up a little bit on um, they're probably going to have to um, uh, use those those plants um, to bring in some power because boy we're really lacking in power a lot of places around the world um, take a look at CCJ I'm holding this position in CCJ and in CCJ we continued to surge higher yesterday getting a little pullback now as we hit some resistance in this chart I'm up uh, well over 50% in this trade right now and, and um, I'm holding this as a longer term hold position and as I mentioned yesterday I also have a short strike up here so um, on that to hedge uh, for a pullback um, in that chart so watch that carefully um, CCJ looking pretty good other places that you might want to be taking a look for charts I got to tell you when I start looking at some of these tech companies um, and the ugliness that I see in these charts I, I want to continue to remind everyone that it might be a really good idea to start paying attention to any rally back in that possibility that we could run into the next short in those charts so watch that closely however we do have an upcoming um, Apple reveal party um, they're their typical little um, uh, dog and pony show where they bring out new um, phones and 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 things like that so watch that closely that is coming up and um, certainly we could get some volatility in a stock like Apple around that area but what I would want to suggest is we might want to watch carefully in here on any rally back into this resistance area be watching that for that potential that we could continue that down move in the chart. I think tech is running into an awful lot of trouble and as long as we continue to see bonds remain strong, they can continue to move in that fashion. Look at st stocks like um, Nvidia. Nvidia, oh my goodness, moving on down, looks like it has a chance of retesting some of these lows down here in the charts. Now on the bullish side, take a look at stocks like um, Snow. Snow has been holding up really, really well, um, broke through on its um, earnings report now getting that resting pullback I like to see a chart like that resting pulling back and then looking for that next opportunity for that upside move and another one that I think is looking pretty darn good is BJ BJ took off yesterday after pulling back it had a good earnings report pulled back to its support level took off and is moving to the upside now after a big move like that you might want to wait just a little bit um, see how this uh, deals in here we may have a little bit more consolidation that happens in that chart but watch that closely there is that opportunity that could continue to move higher here with their strong earnings that they um, showed us so with that guys I'm gonna wind that uh, wind the video down today sorry I ran just a little bit long on time I want to wish you guys all a fantastic day thank you so much for being here thanks to everyone yesterday that attended last night um, make sure you click that subscribe button to stay in touch with us and I want to see you guys right back here bright and early Thursday morning have a great day everyone